how's it going guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make your PC or laptop run faster, uh, performance wise I guess, um, uh, this will just in general make it run faster as well, uh, there are a few steps to cover, so just if you do what I do in this video, uh, your computer should be working well and a little bit faster, so what you want to do is you want to go into the temporary folders, percent, the percent, now yeah, you're allowed to delete everything in here because these are temporary files that will you know that they just pile up and take up space so but there will be yeah just control a and it delete there, but there'll be some that you can't delete that's normal just click on this box and click skip uh, okay I'm just gonna skip those because I need those camrec files as um, I'm recording some things okay so after you've deleted that you wanna just hold, hold start, press R for the run. I mean, you want to write uh, prefetch. Now, once you're in the prefetch folder, you're able to delete all these as these are uh, files that you actually do not need at all. And they're kind of useless and they just take up space. Uh, the next one is uh, this cleanup. I'm not actually going to do the disk cleanup now because so well, actually I could, but um yeah okay I'll do it. Which one? Yeah, just tick the ones that you want to tick. I'm just gonna you know tick them all and uh, clean up system files once you've selected the ones you want to remove. Okay, after the disk cleanup, uh, that you can uh. Uh, go on to msconfig in the run dialog box. Alright, so once you're in here, uh, I recommend for the select you choose selective startup and load system services and startup items and leave that one on tick. Just copy my settings. And for boot, uh, you might just want to leave that. For the number of processes, if you notice, you can go higher. You could choose it, but personally, I would leave it because it could cause uh, errors on your computer. Uh, if you want to tick no GUI boot. This means the Windows logo won't come up. It'll just be a black screen when starting up, and it can improve uh, loading times and time at zero seconds. And just want to leave all the other settings and hit apply when you're ready. For services, uh, these this one you just want to tick the ones that you really need, like. But first of all, click on hide all Microsoft services and only tick the ones that you want or need. Like, you don't need to have them all, but yeah, I guess I've just got these ones. These are services, not programs that run on startup. The ones that run on startup is here. Okay. 707 megabytes will be deleted. I'm not going to do that now. That was from the disk cleaner. Okay, so on the startup tab, you just want to tick the ones that you want to run on startup. I recommend keeping all like your graphics card, like I've got NVIDIA, all the real text, the drivers and all that, Intel, uh, you keep those I guess, uh, the ones that you don't really need, like I've unticked Steam, Skype, the Razer, Synapse, News.net, whatever that is, and uh, yeah, apply, and okay, so once you've done that, uh, there's a few more steps. You can write performance and click on adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Now, I recommend you can copy the steps. You want to hit custom, and if you want the best uh, options, I guess you could just copy these settings. So, you want to turn off as much as possible, but you don't really want to turn it all because if you turn them all off, it will look terrible. But yeah, if you copy these settings, then the, I reckon these are the regular good settings that you should. Uh, that will be good to use. Okay, so advanced. Uh, so once you've done that, that's pretty much it. But uh, there's also some third-party programs that I use. One of them is called C Cleaner. It's a very good program. Um, yeah, like you've got so many options. I've uh, just I just cracked this program a while ago. I don't remember how, but I might be able to supply a link or something. No torrents, just pure cracked. Um, yeah, you can choose to delete a lot of things, but you can. There are things that you shouldn't really need to tick on here. Like 
network password to say that. Um, some things in advanced and the registry. I tick them all. Like I want to scan for my for some issues, and it will just come up with a bunch of issues. And yeah, you just like when you uninstall programs, some of these will be left behind, and it will still uh, will find some uh, broken registry files. So just let that run. Okay, so you know, fix select the issues. Yeah, see, I just got rid of that, and I'll run this cleaner. Okay, um, another one is just your standard anti antivirus program. Like I'm using Norton 360. Uh, you could just uh, you could use whatever you'd like. Uh, but yeah, well, whatever you use, it's good. Cause security, you got like I like to. I run like daily quick scans like pretty much every week. Uh yeah, so you can like run disk optimization, file cleanups. Yeah, I'm sure yeah, all this antivirus should be able to do these basic things. So after that, I guess you wanna yeah, empty your recycling bin. And um this give your computer just a restart and then you should be good to go and also yeah. So this deleted 143 megabytes because I only ran this about yes, like a few days ago or something. Um, it's also recommended to not put your computer to sleep so often. Like it's good to shut your computer down and all that. But yeah, um, I hope this helped. If it did help, leave a comment, just drop a like, maybe subscribe, and thanks for watching. Yeah.